Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? My name is DJA9ZT and we're back with WWE Champions and another 5 star gold character gameplay preview video. And we got the all new Lita here. And she will be your chase superstar for November here. Rebel by design. And... What? This is the modern era Lita. Modern era Lita. She's a coach. Black finishers uh, does not include submission damage. Do more damage up to 50% at 26,000. So that'll be pretty cool for, uh, you know, like a striker Rollins or somebody doing black finisher damage. But we're going to get out here and check out a five star move set right away. It is going to be the best move set for sure. And I don't really know why we will go over the other stuff, but we will. This one's just incredible. So. We got the blue move, the single leg monkey flip, seven charge, deal 82,000 damage, and choose six gems to make into yellow. That'll fill the yellows. Then we got the Litacon Rana, eight charge, two turn stun, dealing 207,000 damage, and force your opponents to skip two turns. The Lead Assault Finisher, 10 charge, yellow, deal 305,000 damage, and gain seven blue MP. That sets up the recycle. So on the Entourage here, I got Lawler to go for that monkey flip. I got Big E for yellow move damage. I got the all-new Free R-Truth for yellow finishers do 40% more damage. And then I got Hall of Fame Andre for 10% yellow move damage. If you have Hall of Fame Rude, he'd be good on there. Gobbledygooker. Um, people like that. But I don't even have uh, Tor Perks active. Nothing at the moment. So we're going out here against Bianca Belair. On the road here. Five star gold Bianca Belair. And I'm telling you, this moveset, it slaps. You just got, uh, without the perks here. Now, typically with your tour perks, that's going to be turn one. But she didn't get turn one either. So we should still be good here. We should still be good here. Six isn't going to do it. We got to get... Let's take seven. Let's see a seven. What what's seven do here? Oh, we were still one short. Dumb. Oh, well. Oh, well. Bianca's going to get her moves off one time. So you better make it count, Bianca. You got one shot at this. Tour perks and we're out of here early. Because I then you start getting uh, to the point like that, like... I could have counted how many gems, but you're so used to the tour perks adding extra MP on that. Anyways, 557,000 damage with the lead of Kenrana. Uh, if we're looking at the strap here, I do have a 133% yellow move buff. I have one fury set, one armor, and that's because I don't have a yellow percent move damage medal for armor at all. Never have gotten one. So, I have to use the Fury Metal for that finisher to hit like that. Now, she kicks out. Okay. Now, she's still stunned for two turns, and we took half her health on that first set. So, this one, don't even got to worry about the Cascade at all. Just make sure you're charged. There is zero concern for Cascade here. Now, our moves are charged. We put her down. 253 damage. She's still stunned for one turn, so that was an easy move. And hit the stun again, 557k. Boom, that's such a big amount of damage for stun moves. So, it's bringing an old meta back full circle here, right? Because the stun move used to be the meta back in the Zombie Austin days. But then it got to the point where it just takes so long to win a match in that stun loop that you wouldn't use it anymore. Well, guess what? Guess what? Two cycle stun locks are back. And, uh, wow. That's going to be nasty. I'm going to go try another move set, but we're not topping that. Let's be real. Okay, so we left the stun move in. I'm a sucker for stun moves. Um, all of my sets are going to be built around it, probably. And we got the double red moves in now. We got the four charge lead DDT. Deal 61,000 damage. Make two columns, or choose two columns to make into multiply gems of strength four. Then we got the inverted twist of fate. Six charge. Deal 75,000 damage. Choose two Juggernaut gems 
Uh, that will increase your yellow MP by five on every countdown turn and make nine multiply gems into red gems at the end of the countdown. So uh, this juggernaut move will feed the stun move and refeed itself potentially. So we went ahead with Sting for red MP. I got Matt Hardy to make these multiply gem strength six. And then we got Santa Hogan for 2200 any color gem and Stacy Keebler for 2200 red gem damage. That's more than 20% damage. I checked it against Hall of Fame Snoop and Snoop was not the better option there. So you got more damage from the flat gem damage at 2200. So this one, I'm just going in with it blind. I did not test this set at all. Uh, my first thought would be look for a yellow or red match, obviously, to lay these down. Um, I get that next turn. I kind of just want to like, you want to make sure you're going to hit some red gems with these. I guess, or yellow, I don't know. I don't know what to do off the start there, to be honest. I didn't get my match that I needed, so I guess I just take that so she can't get it. I guess I'm just hoping that I still got plenty of multiply gems left at the end of this. We'll see what happens here. <clears throat> All right, so that's what I wanted to get to was having Juggernaut feeding the stun move here. It would have been a lot smoother if we would have got a red, uh, a yellow match off the start. So that got my red back. But that took her other turn that she was stunned away, too. I mean, we just did a million damage with that, though, so... Nothing to, nothing to sneeze at. We're still doing big damage here. She's still stunned for one turn. Now we got some red and that on the board, so now I can actually, like, double dip on the red moves. Which is what I was hoping to get set up off the start if I'd have got a red match and got... Juggernaut gems down on the following two turns in a row, we'd have been golden. Because then we'd have that stun, just keep feeding that stun every turn. It was a little bit too slow here. Okay, we're still good here. We're gonna we'll be able to get her in stun lock again after this. Oh great. Well that ruined that. There's lots of holes in this move set, but you can see uh she can do some real decent damage. She can do some real decent damage with the multiply gems. This would have worked better probably with the yellow move to let you choose gems to destroy, I realize. We was trying to get fancy with the skip turn though, because I like the skip turn move sets. So we got that there, boom. We got skip turn again. If she kicks out, stay down. Still absolutely destroyed that Bianca with that move set. It didn't go as smooth as I wanted. You can see though with... With some good luck on the board at the beginning, that move set would have did pretty decently. Um, I'll go back and just show the other moves. I don't like. There's really no reason for me to play matches with the other moves like this, though. So, uh, for that move set, you probably would run the Twist of Fate here. Deal 156,000 damage. Choose ten, ten gems to destroy. So you could use that with these moves. That's a more natural fit. But I was hoping to create a stun lock on that. Um, we also have the Running Tornado DDT deal 89,000 damage and deal 379,000 bleed damage to your opponent for two turns. So you could stack that up with the Monkey Flip choosing yellow gems and you could do a ton of bleed damage. Um, 
I mean, I would try to even do that with the stun move again because I'm a sucker for the stun move, but you could do that one easily with the Twist of Fate, easily with the Lead Assault Finisher, and just do a bunch of bleed damage. I mean, I guess we could just we could just do that one. Let's do that one with the finisher. See if we see how much bleed damage we're putting out here. Because that is like a whole other thing. So uh, we got to get Lawler back out here. Sorry, I try to have all this done in between sets. Okay, we need bleed damage though here. Bleed damage. All right, 58% bleed damage from the architect. Oh, that's got it up to 600k. We can get our truth back in there for that finisher. And then we can get Kyrie Sane for some more bleed damage here. This is going to be better uh, than that second set I ran for surely. This one should do pretty good. And we still got the finisher buff there too, so. This one should go pretty well. That finisher is huge damage. The bleed damage is going to be huge too. I still don't think there's any reason why I wouldn't just use the stun lock set. If somebody's got anti-stun, I guess. Um, so deal 659,000 bleed damage for two turns. So one and a half million nearly. We're going to choose yellow here. We still need like eight. Well, that's all right. And she's bleeding. And she's bleeding again. Look at that. She lost half her health already. Half her health already. All right, we just hit the finisher. 773. And should be over after this. She hit her moves a few times here again. I think that first set is definitely my favorite. You could probably, again, on this set, instead of the finisher, you could probably get the stun move in this set. And if you're good with your gem placement in that, you could use this uh, monkey flip move to cascade yellow. And then you could use a skill play to help you gain yellow MP or put yellow gems on the board. Anything like that. Uh, that's probably something I would look at going forward. Just do that. Let's see if the bleed damage puts her out here. She's probably not getting out here. If she don't kick out on one, it's over with. There we go. So what do you guys think about Lita? The most insane stun lock cycle I've ever seen. And I need that on my roster. I'm going to need that in some feuds. So catch me in the next feud with my Lita. Anyways, uh, I'll leave you with that. Until next time, y'all. Peace.